HydroGrow is and remains the original when it comes to LED grow light innovation, but originals are often copied as good ideas are hard to overlook. Soon after the discontinuation of the HydroGrow Extreme LED 126X Pro prototype in April of 2011, companies like Advanced LED began selling look-alike versions of the same product to build off their sudden popularity. Many consumers get the idea that because a reproduction LED grow light looks similar or the same as an original, it must perform nearly identical. As a result, they see a lower price tag on a look-alike product and are fooled by slick marketing into believing that they're getting a better deal. To illustrate the performance difference between an original product and a look-alike, an independent grow test was performed by a high school teacher and his students, comparing the Extreme LED 336X at 320 watts from HydroGrow to the 300 watt Diamond series from Advanced LED. The test was operated side by side in identical grow tents and hydroponic systems with beefsteak tomato plants sharing the same nutrient reservoir. Here are the results from the Advanced LED light. Today I'm reviewing Advanced LED's Diamond Series LED light with a beefsteak tomato grow test. The light that I chose for this grow test is a 300 watt LED light that uses 153 watt chips that are made from Bridge Lux and it has a total power draw of 274 watts. It uses 11 wavelengths of color and it will cover an area that is 3.5 by 4 feet wide. I chose to test beef steak tomatoes because they are a more difficult crop to grow indoors with artificial lighting. They require a tremendous amount of light and heat to grow to their full potential. I kept the temperature in the grow tent at 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperatures during the rest period would drop down to room temperature. The light for the vegetative stage ran for 16 hours on and 8 hours off. During the flowering and fruiting stages, this was changed to a 12-12 split. The light from Advanced LED is well constructed and I was impressed with the size of the beefsteak tomatoes that it was able to grow over a 95 day period. The largest tomato weighed 1.7 pounds and I was completely surprised that an LED light could produce full size beefsteak tomatoes. After all the beefsteak tomatoes were weighed in and the plant had ceased producing new fruit and flowers, the total yield from the 300 watt diamond series light was 3.68 pounds. Now let's take a look at the results from the Extreme LED 336X from HydroGrow. As part of my grade 10 to 12 agriculture classes that I teach, my students ran a 78 day grow test using beefsteak tomatoes and HydroGrow's 336X LED grow light. HydroGrow's 336X uses 336 one watt high powered LEDs from Bridge Lux, Epistar and Semi LED. It uses custom 6 band spectrum with a 320 watt power draw. I love the design and build quality of the HydroGrow lights as the power supply fans and LEDs can easily be swapped out if a part fails or if you decide to one day upgrade the LED lights. The 336X LED light did a phenomenal job of growing beefsteak tomatoes. The plant's height reached 5 feet in the grow tent and the top of the plant had to be trimmed by 2 inches every second day as it was close to touching the light. My students removed most of the suckers in order to encourage large tomato production. I tried growing full size beefsteak tomatoes with a 600 watt metal halide and high pressure sodium lights and the tomatoes never reached their full size. They looked like large cherry tomatoes. I was amazed by the fact that a 336 watt LED light with a power draw of 320 watts was able to outperform a 600 watt high pressure sodium and a 600 watt metal halide grow light. We harvested 17 tomatoes and the average weight of the large tomatoes were 1.7 pounds. There was an additional 22 green tomatoes on the plant at the time of the first harvest. I was also surprised to see that the tomato plant was still producing many new bloods and flowers. According to the grower, the plant under the 336X wasn't finished when the test came to a halt. Instead, it had many more buds forming as well as green tomatoes still growing. But due to the end of the school year, it had to be cut. The total yield from the Extreme LED 336X was 12.2 pounds of beefsteak tomatoes. 
Despite both products using secondary lensing technology, first released by HydroGrow in April of 2011, and despite both lights having nearly identical power draw, the HydroGrow light produced 3.3 times more tomatoes than the advanced LED light. It should also be noted that the 300 watt Diamond Series light used 3 watt LEDs, while the Extreme LED 336X used 1 watt LEDs. It's often said that the bitterness of low quality lingers long after the sweetness of low cost is gone. So ask yourself this, is saving a few hundred dollars up front on a lookalike product worth three times less yield on every harvest? I'll let you be the judge.